there my friends today i'm gonna show you some hidden features you might want to try out to improve your overall experience using your samsung tablet first one is fast pen to text so now with the recent update one ui 3.1 we can now use our handwritten text in any text areas and then it will automatically be converted to text so you can turn this feature on by going to settings, search for S Pen and go to S Pen to text. We can just turn it on and here there are also shortcuts that we can use to edit our text using the S Pen that I'm going to show you later on. So as you see here, we also have this little toolbar that will show up as you hover the S Pen. We have space, backspace, keyboard and enter. Here, as example, you can see I can even apply this on WhatsApp chat. Next, we can also edit our text with the shortcut that we saw earlier. Scratch out text to delete all. Draw a line on a certain part to delete. Draw an N line to give space. A U line to delete the space. And the cool thing here is that we can also write cursive like that and it will still detect our writing which is really cool the second one is keyboard type so oftentimes if we are on landscape mode we kind of find it hard to reach some letters at the center as we are typing right but there's actually different type of keyboard that we can choose here there's split one and there's the floating one so with these types of keyboard, now there's no need for us to go off the tab and move our hand as much just to reach every single letter there. And I personally think this floating one is perfect with one hand and while we use the S Pen. There's also other feature here and the name is the exact function of it, which is called handwriting. So I mainly use this to correct my essays or assignments as i show it here so what i do is that i block the part that i'm gonna change and then tap the handwriting tool and just write the correct sentence number three edge panel so you probably know this already from my previous video but i'm gonna mention this again because there's a new thing here so we get the setting display and edge panel and then we can choose kinds of different panels that we want and by tapping this edit we are also allowed to add kinds of different apps or make multiple apps that we can open at the same time there's also lots of tasks available here that we can choose from screenshot um, timer stopwatch and many more so with just a single swipe away like this we can have an access to open other apps or do some tasks without having to go back to the home page and here i give you one example i'm using this rectangle to screenshot part of the screen that i want to save and here we can edit the picture share it or save it and just want to let you know that everything that we shot will also be saved in the clipboard and this leads us to the most important part which is the clipboard panel so here there's a lot of options that we can choose like recommended one all text and image and we can simply just drag the thing that we want to take out and this i think is really useful for making journal anyway we can also customize the handle as you can see here we have this option to change the position right or left we can also lock the handle and here we can also change the color of the handle there's a lot of swatches and spectrum and many other color options we can also change the transparency as well as the sizes number um four double tap on and off so again go to setting advanced features and motions and gestures so as simple as the title say we can just double tap the screen to turn the device on and off 
we can turn the screen off by tapping the empty space twice like this and double tap the screen again to turn it on the next one is one hand operation so we need to go to the galaxy store to download the app first search for one hand operation app so with this app turned on this allows us to simply control our device with just one hand so the design is similar with the inbuilt navigation swipe gesture but with this app, as you can see here, we can customize different kinds of actions. So here there are two handle, which is left handle and the right handle. And the swipe itself is divided by two, the short one and the long one. The short one I have back key and recent key and closed up. There's also split screen view that we can choose. A screenshot and also a volume for the long swipe I choose quick tools for the straight right the diagonal up I choose open notification panel and the diagonal down I choose task switcher here we can also change the design there are three different style that you can choose there's arrow 1 arrow 2 and the curved line this third one we can change the color of the arrow here's another quick view I have back key recent key I also got screen timer, notification panel, and I also got screenshot. For the left one, I have task switcher, and my favorite one here is quick tool, as I use this a lot. The next one is floating notification. So, um, from settings, we go to notification, brief pop-up settings, and edge lighting style. So this one, I think, is not considered a feature, but I just want to show you that we can actually customize the notification with different kinds of effects, as well as the colors, as you can see here. So instead of having a simple normal notification that pops up the top of the screen, we can now use different kinds of effects as we like to make it look more fun. The last one, the name says it all, it's called Continue Apps on Other Devices. So if you have any Samsung devices with this feature, you cannot continue using certain app which is only limited to Samsung Nerds and Samsung Internet for now on your other device so here i got my a50 with me and what i do is that i turn on the feature and bluetooth as well as the same wi-fi for both devices here i straightly go to samsung notes and type randomly and i saved it and i go to my tab and click this samsung notes at the bottom right and voila there you have it it automatically saved on other device here i test it again this time from the tab don't forget to save it and the app will always appear at the right bottom there and if we click it the text will be available on your other device here Another cool thing is that we can also copy the text on the tab, for example. And the text that is copied before will automatically available on the phone as well. You can see here. ta -da! <laughs> So, let us check again. Same, right? That's cool, okay. <laughs> Alright, guys. I guess that is all for today's video. 
um sure there's a lot of other cool features that we can get from the recent update of the software that i haven't mentioned yet so let me know in the comments as always thank you so much for watching stay safe stay healthy and i will see you on the next one bye bye